Okay, so in this lesson, I want to show you something that I'm working on right now. It's a little sloppy, but it's a great uh, exercise. It's a great endurance exercise for hands and particularly for your right foot. It's also a great coordination exercise. It's extremely simple, but it just shows you how often sometimes these simple things are the most challenging. And I saw somebody else, another drummer, working on something like this, where they were playing doubles between uh, right hand and foot, left hand and foot, in different combinations. And when I sat down to try it, I couldn't believe how difficult some of the simple patterns were. So I want to share this with you. Like I said, I'm working on it, so it's, it's, it's rough, it's not that great, but we can work on it together. It's a great exercise. So the initial thing that I sat down to try was a paradiddle. So basically, right hand double, right foot double, then um, left hand double, right foot double. So, so you end up hearing the paradiddle between floor tom and snare drum. So it's not technically an actual paradiddle, but it's that pattern. Right, uh, right side, left side, right side, right side, left side, right side, left side, left side. And the original exercise is 30 second notes. It's a little better now than it was. It was really rough earlier on. And um, it wasn't necessarily the technical challenge, although about that time period after doing it for that long, my right foot starts to weaken a little bit, but it was not necessarily the technical thing, but the, the splitting between hands. So although it's the same pattern, a double with the hand or a double with the foot, the fact that you had to change uh, quickly between the right side and the left side, my, the, the, the evenness of everything was all over the place. So that's why it's a really good challenge. So maybe take the hi-hat out to begin with and just get the pattern going. And it, it's actually, like a lot of things, harder in many ways at slower tempos. So right then when I just began it, I rushed my left hand. And sometimes the tendency can be to rush the right foot too, so you don't want those right foot notes to be too squashed and close together. So it's easier at that kind of medium tempo because your foot can do a bit of a sliding motion and it's, it's easier to get it, keep it going, but, it's, but, but beneath that in tempo, it's a little harder. So then once you get it going, you can introduce the hi-hat. Like that, or. I feel like that's better. So the pattern's at 30 second notes, and this is playing quarter notes or eighth notes, in fact. Uh, but as you get to faster tempos, if you were to play it differently or play more hi-hat notes, it, would, it gets a little much. So there's a lot, of, lot going on then, so it's nicer when the hi-hat is not doing so much. So that's the initial exercise, but then you can take it to loads of other places because you can play other patterns. So um, let's go start with four each side. Then we can go to three each side, which is going to go over the bar line, uh, and then two each side, and then one each side. One probably being the hardest when you split just one double on the floor tom, one double on the snare drum. So let's start with four each side.
Then you could go to three, um, which is going to go over the bar line. Although that doesn't matter too much because we're not keeping track of bars. This is just the right hand will line up with the with the left foot hi hat, and so you can then just change at that point to another pattern. So let's now go to twos. And then to ones. That's definitely the most difficult one, just doing one double on each drum. And so it's also a challenge, be aware of your right hand on the floor tom. Uh, I find the thumb up position easier. You could do it this way. It's just a little easier to do it thumb up, but that means you have to use your fingers a little bit and you have to really pull the sound out of the drum because most people are gonna have their floor tom tuned pretty slack like this one is, may even be a bigger drum like a 16, so you really have to pull the sound out. So that's why it's a great endurance exercise, coordination great for your right foot if you do this for long periods. You can switch between like the fours, the threes, the twos, the ones, the paradiddle. There are of course many other patterns, perhaps we'll do another lesson. You could do pyramid exercises, all sorts of stuff. But if you keep it simple to begin with uh, and have a few patterns to cycle through, uh, it's a great endurance exercise, great warm-up exercise. So now I'll do that. I'll stop putting some patterns together. <laughs> 